I'm Lauren Bates. Um, I'm the Technical and General Supervisor at of the Molecular Diagnostics Department at West Virginia Laboratories. Um, I have experience in both the clinical microbiology and uh, setting and the molecular biology research discipline. My most recent experience has been in both the clinical and public health microbiology settings um, with uh, an experience as being the supervisor of the general microbiology department at the West Virginia Public Health Lab. I did my graduate research training in um, Melbourne, Florida at the Florida Institute of Technology, and I received my medical laboratory science education from St. Vincent's Medical Center in Jacksonville, Florida. Today, I'm gonna to discuss how to overcome hurdles in molecular diagnostics, and I'll be discussing my lab's journey in molecular diagnostics using Applied Biosystems Quant Studio 5s and the Thermo Fisher Kingfisher Flex. In addition to other qPCR clinical diagnostic solutions Thermo Fisher has to offer. And this is my disclaimer for the presentation. In today's presentation, I will first identify some of the hurdles in molecular diagnostics. Um, I'll discuss innovative tools for the clinical laboratory that are offered by Thermo Fisher. And I'll end with discussing some emerging trends in molecular diagnostics. <clears throat> Since the boom in testing demand from the recent pandemic, clinical laboratories are under more pressure than ever to find faster, more specific, and more sensitive ways to provide actionable, informa actionable information to the physicians they serve. The COVID-19 pandemic not only highlighted the importance of the clinical lab, but especially the role PCR plays in infectious disease testing. qPCR is very sensitive, um, can detect a very small amount of DNA, primers are specific for their target, and a PCR test can be completed much faster than a culture. PCR played a critical role in testing during the pandemic, not just determining who was positive and negative for COVID, but also who could and could not get treatments. In the infectious disease world, we are always looking for faster ways than culturing to identify pathogens because early intervention can improve antimicrobial stewardship. Um, it can reduce the length of stay in healthcare facilities, reduce the potential for hospital acquired infections, and reduce the overall healthcare costs for the patient. While there are many benefits to using qPCR in clinical diagnostics, there are some hurdles. Uh, while the turnaround times are fast, with some commercial assays, you can only load one sample per, per cartridge, so it can be cumbersome when you have a high volume of testing to do. Um, some other higher throughput assays have a limited test menu. <clears throat> Molecular testing is also notoriously very expensive compared to other methods like culturing that ultimately will produce the same result. Um, molecular, many molecular platforms that I have experience with, with have not directly interfaced with LIS systems, so that opens a major source of clerical error when transferring results from the molecular testing system to the LIS. And there are many commercial fixed panels available, but you know, often there are too many or not enough targets that we need on these. So uh, West Virginia Lab's journey in molecular diagnostics began during the COVID-19 pandemic when West Virginia Labs was approached by the state of West Virginia to help with COVID-19 testing. At this time, most commercial assays and testing platforms forms were sold out and a consultant recommended Thermo Fisher and Applied Biosystems qPCR testing systems as an alternative. Using a Thermo Fisher Kingfisher Flex for extraction and two Applied Biosystems Quant Studio 5s for qPCR, West Virginia Labs was able to perform more than 50,000 COVID-19 PCR tests for the state of West Virginia with accurate trusted results and great turnaround times. When I joined the team at West Virginia Labs, I came with qPCR experience testing for COVID-19 and doing influenza subtyping at the State Public Health Lab with a different instrumentation but similar platform. I was very impressed with the quality of the Kingfisher Flex, the Quant Studio 5s, and especially the design and analysis software. 
And my job was to determine how we could expand our molecular diagnostic testing beyond testing for COVID-19. However, coming from a clinical background, I was unfamiliar with the validation, billing, and regulatory requirements for non-commercial assays. And if you're listening from the U.S., I am specifically mean non-FDA approved assays. But I saw great potential for being able to provide custom assays for the patients we service by utilizing this Thermo Fisher and Applied Biosystems qPCR insurance. So as I previously stated, I faced some unfamiliar challenges with implementing non-commercial qPCR assays. Uh, with the help of our consultant, we chose to continue using our qPCR equipment to implement a wound pathogen qPCR panel of their design into our testing menu. Uh, during this validation, I learned the additional steps involved in the validation process beyond the precision and accuracy studies required for commercial assay implementation. We had to perform limit of detection, carryover, analytical specificity, interference, and stability studies. While working in public health microbiology, I learned the technical skill set and workflow necessarily necessary to perform this type of qPCR testing uh, was different than what I was accustomed to in a clinical diagnostic setting. It requires a great deal of focus, patience, and dexterity in pipetting if you're not using uh, any automatic automated pipetting in your workflow. And the lab setup requires great attention to detail to ensure contamination does not occur. Um, you have to have a separate extraction and PCR setup areas. You're continuously cleaning and uh, there are other things involved as well. Additionally, there was an added hurdle I faced in the clinical lab, public health lab and at West Virginia labs with qPCR testing systems. There was uh, no LIS interface and an added level of potential clerical errors from having to input results into the LIS manually. Um, and finally, the data analysis uh, was more involved than what I was accustomed to in a clinical diagnostic lab with molecular testing. So in my experience in clinical microbiology, any molecular test I performed came with a printout of results that stated detected or not detected for the targets. And as long as the QC said passed, we entered the results into the LAS. But with this type of qPCR diagnostic system, the detected, not detected calls um, can still be made depending on the software that you're using. Uh, but you have the ability to look at every single sample's curve and use the different scores to help interpret whether or not a result can truly be trusted. Um, you can easily identify cross-contamination and do a much more thorough analysis of patient results. And this type of analysis can seem intimidating to technologists and does require more time for review. <clears throat> if those challenges could be overcome, there are many benefits to doing non-commercial qPCR assays. Uh, when comparing qPCR tests to rapid antigen detection systems, qPCR tests have longer turnaround times, but they are much more uh, sensitive, have a lower rate of false positives, and do not require confirmatory testing. Commercial fixed qPCR assays can be lower throughput. Um, most often the broader panels are the lower throughput ones. They have limited selection of assays or the assays have too many or not enough of the targets uh, you need for your patients, and they're expensive. Benefits to implementing a custom assay include selection of uh, targets, selection of panel size, so how many samples you want on your PCR plate, um, more affordable testing, you could, it's scalable, so it can be higher throughput if need be, and I, I believe overall better quality for your patients because you're customizing to the needs, needs of the population you serve. <clears throat> A good molecular diagnostics test should have several key qualities. Uh, analytical validity, the ability to accurately and consistently measure the marker of interest, Clinical validity, the ability to detect the associated phenotype of that marker. Clinical utility, the ability to be incorporated into routine practice with low risk and high benefit. And economic utility for the lab performing the test. 
Demand for fast turnaround times, particularly for large sur surges of testing and stat requests, make efficiency, high throughput capabilities, and ease of use more critical than ever. And a seamless, thoughtfully constructed qPCR ecosystem can maximize the success of molecular diagnostics products, allowing tests to perform to their full potential. At West Virginia Labs, we feel uh, ready and excited to design and implement custom qPCR assays for infectious disease for the patients we serve. We will definitely continue working with our thermoscientific and applied biosystems extraction and qPCR testing instruments, although uh, some upgrades may be in our future. And after many conversations with um, our territory representative, we feel very comfortable moving forward doing custom assays in-house. This slide is a summary of all the offerings from Thermoscientific for clinical diagnostics applications of qPCR assays. There are qPCR systems for every user need from uh, simplicity on a budget to high throughput with maximum productivity complemented by robust analysis software. These instruments are absolute workhorses. Our Quant Studio 5s are one of the more basic Quant Studio system, but we never had a problem with analyzing thousands upon thousands of samples day after day during the pandemic. Um, they're very easy to operate and user friendly. The reagents are uniquely designed for assay developers, including applied biosystems, TACPATH, general purpose reagents. These reagents are top quality. We QC every reagent before we use it, and we've never had a thermoscientific or applied biosystems reagent not pass QC. There are 20 million pre-designed assays in five flexible formats, and their performance is guaranteed. Additionally, there are custom assay design and primers and probes for assay developers. And the service and support system uh, stems beyond comprehensive on-site and digital support and premium service contracts. Thermo provides, um, I wanted to touch more on service and the service and support because Thermo provides as much help as you need to implement any of their assays into your clinical diagnostics workflow. Uh, they have bioinformaticians and scientists to aid in selection of targets from their database and they will help design the layout of your plate. The uh, field application specialist will provide on-site um, SOP or standard operating procedure training, workflow training, and data analysis training <clears throat> to make the implementation of the assay as streamlined and easy to use as possible. Additionally, Thermo supports all of your needs in the analytical validation for your diagnostic assay. As I mentioned previously, there are steps beyond accuracy and precision necessary for a non-commercial assay, and they can assist in designing the validation with your lab director and team. And one of the things I was most excited about was the compliance information provided to me. Um, I was fumbling around for weeks trying to understand what was necessary from the validation to billing for these types of assays, and my representatives sent over documents that answered all of my questions. They really do provide the full package for service and support, and these service packages are offered at affordable pricing. And finally, the last part of the ecosystem I wanted to highlight was the Deomni software. As I mentioned before, there has been a lack of LIS interface with uh, the molecular diagnostics platforms I've had experience with. Thermo Scientific now offers this Deomni software that works with the Quant Studio 7 Pro DX, and not only does it interface or it has the ability to interface to your LIS system, but it also can streamline the molecular diagnostics workflow um, in several different ways. There's plug and play designs to simplify the run setup and analysis process. <clears throat> there are scalable options to expand the number of connected users um, and instruments. There's visual, visualization of interpretive data analysis with advanced quality control checks. There's secure and audible traceability. Uh, you can track your samples from extraction to results, which is a really nice feature. Um, there's configurable and automatic transfer of data to support laboratory information systems. Um, I had the opportunity to demo this software and whether performing routine clean clinical diagnostic testing 
or developing a novel assay for validation, Geomni seems to support every stage of the product development cycle. And while I've been speaking from an infectious disease standpoint for the presentation, before we end, I wanted to discuss other potential or other disciplines where custom assays can be beneficial. Uh, QPCR has been extensively uh, used in research to aid in making new discoveries. For example, in cancer research, QPCR was used to measure uh, MTS-US1 in tumor and normal tissues and was identified as an indicator of colon cancer. But <clears throat> Beyond research in these disciplines, um, the applied biosystems and thermo scientific qPCR ecosystem could be utilized to produce a top quality assay, uh, which could provide actionable data for physicians um, treating patients um, in oncology, rare disease, and in other disciplines. And with that, that concludes my presentation. I want to thank you for joining me today, and I hope that I've provided some helpful insight into products that can help you take your next step in your molecular diagnostics goals. Thank you.